Nursery plants are grown in containers filled with soilless potting media called substrate. And selection of the proper substrate components is critical to the successful production of plants. Typical substrate components may include pine bark, peat moss, sand, perlite, and vermiculite. Of these, the two most used substrates are peat and pine bark. Substrate costs continue to rise, mainly due to decreased peat and pine bark availability, combined with the tremendous energy inputs required in the process of harvesting, preparing, and shipping these substrates. Consequently, many growers are investigating alternatives to these substrates that are environmentally sustainable, less costly, and more reliable. The considerable cost of peat, in particular, has led to the use of substitute products. Our potting soil used to be made up of Florida peat, pine bark, little sand, minor elements, fertilizer, lime, stuff like that. In the last few years, because of the shortage of Florida peat and because it's not good practice to dig out ponds in the state of Florida, we've switched over to what they call new peat, which is actually just compost. This composted potting soil is a product produced by CNC Peat Company in Central Florida. For the last 30 years, we've been producing potting soil for commercial nurseries. And when we first got started, of course, we primarily used peat as our major substrate in our mixes. But in order to become more sustainable in today's economy, we have transitioned somewhat to using compost as well as peat as a base substrate. So what we do now is we have a 20-acre composting facility is located in Okahumka, and we bring in various agricultural waste products and recyclable products like horse bedding, uh, land clearing debris, we bring in animal manures, food waste, and some other products and mix those together to a very specific proprietary formulation, if you will, and produce compost that has very similar physical and chemical characteristics to the native peat that we also still include in our mixes. But by doing that, we've been able to replace a significant portion of the peat, and thereby we can increase the longevity of the mining sites that we have and have less of an impact on the environment. In the case of pine bark, alternatives include clean chip residual and whole tree substrate. These two products utilize raw or uncomposted chipped trees and have lower costs compared to peat and more costly and less available composted bark. Research has indicated that this form of substrate has potential, and more information can be found at this website of the USDA Agricultural Research Service. Regardless of which alternative substrate is used in growing operations, locally available waste products should be examined for possible container components. These locally available products may include composted peanut hulls, composted animal manure, rice hulls, mushroom compost, composted biosolids, municipal solid waste, and yard trimmings. The key to selecting sustainable substrates is to look for alternatives that mimic your current substrates, chemical and physical characteristics to work with your production practices. As with other aspects of nursery sustainability, local sources for substrate components are often the least costly and most sustainable solutions. To find additional information, please refer to this document and others which are available on the project website.